Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of Husky's a bit gimmicky total socket wrench. What this is, is this is a, a straight adjustable closed loop wrench. And the idea is to somewhat replace an adju a standard adjustable open end wrench. It's a neat idea, but obviously it has its issues. One, the sizing is pretty limited given how long it is. This would be equivalent of a 10 inch. And the other issue is obviously if you have a fastener where you have to push and slide on, you're not going to be able to use this wrench. It is an interesting idea. Up to 27 millimeters, so if you have a 27, then this is actually just like a, a straight 27 millimeter wrench. Same thing on the small side. This would be a 15 millimeter on its maximum size. We'll see that it is actually open right here, or there is no bridge. There's a potential for this end to spread apart, but on the smaller size fasteners, you really don't have to worry about that. What is interesting is on the other side, there is a web, because on the bigger fasteners, there's gonna be more stress, more likely for this to want to splay apart. So they actually forged it with the web. You're wondering how they actually assembled it. Well, what they did is they inserted this bar, put the thumb screw on. We can actually see that each of these black pieces is a separate part. They slid in this second part and then like snapped them together. The issues that it has, unfortunately, uh, is the fact that they didn't put an O-ring or a detent or anything like that in there. So they make all sorts of claims on the packaging about this thing, such as uh, replaces up to 48 SAE or metric sockets. Down here replaces up to 44 sockets, so I don't really know how many, 48 or 44. It is a Chinese made tool. <laughs> Supposedly lasts forever. Two times faster. I guess they mean that two times faster is just because of the thread pitch. It's You have to turn this half as much to get a particular size adjustment. Anyway, you put it on. And I do kind of like the fact, versus an adjustable wrench, that you are indeed contacting you're te technically contacting, you're doing three points of contact. I guess it's four points, but really this bottom piece is only, or the movable jaw is only uh, halfway contacting the surfaces. But, and really that's more accurate because this actually does have the split in there. So when you're actually using this on a fastener, you may be only grabbing onto the lower portion. And it would be even worse on this. This is a 19 millimeter, three quarter inch fastener. And so that's the idea. I kind of like the idea, the, the, that property. That it, but unfortunately, uh, it isn't much better. One of the issues is if you're using it to pull off, put back on a fastener, pull off, put back on a fastener. All we have to do is do this a few times. You're trying to get the bolt out and you're in a weird situation. What's happening now? The thing's loosening up on you just like an adjustable end wrench does. So you would have to use it. You'd be prompted to try to keep your finger on the thumb screw to prevent it from loosening up. And of course, what happens is, is you would pull it off the fastener, your finger's on the thumb screw, and it's gonna cause you to adjust it so you can't get it back on the fastener. And I don't even think Home Depot sells this anymore. They may, but unfortunately it was kind of like a, a good idea that didn't, or they thought it was a bright idea, but in practice, it really doesn't work very well. I think the only real advantage that this has is the fact that it is a straight wrench. And so there would be certain situations where you could break a bolt with this, and then you'd just be going back to a normal adjustable end wrench. This particular style is also not new, not a new invention. Uh, this particular style had been invented decades ago. I forget who made it. Um, but that, I've been kind of noticing that in the last 10 years is a lot of companies have been like rehashing old tools that the patents have run out on. Uh, a real old original is like this adjuster box, although this is more like an adjustable socket wrench, but this is a very old version of a similar idea, it's a an adjustable wrench that uh, kind of works like a box wrench or a socket versus the traditional two-sided adjustable wrench. And obviously the head on an adjustable wrench is really bulky compared to something like this. Unfortunately, uh, this was not executed super well and is kind of uh, more of a gimmick product. But once again, it could potentially have just a little bit of usefulness because of these loops. You could put this on a lanyard, so if you're working at elevation, this could be a handy wrench because it, you could tie it off so it won't drop. 
and you'd only be carrying this wrench to work with a variety of different sizes instead of having to carry a whole array of wrenches or even something like an, a, a traditional adjustable end wrench, particularly in tight access areas. So anyway, I ran into this thing and figured I'd make a little video about it because it was a unique tool. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.